a great actor who was beloved by many around the world, playing a ca as a cowboy, a war hero, and even an everyday man, starring alongside great actors and actresses, and even remembered for great roles throughout his career. From an army officer to an Academy Award-winning actor, this is the great James Stewart, and this is his basic biography. Early Life James Stewart was born on the 20th of May 1908 in Pennsylvania, USA, to parents who owned their own business during the time of, the, of his birth. His ancestry stemmed from Scotland, UK, and most of his grandfather, uh, grandfathers um, fought in wars such as the American Revolution to the American Civil War. Even his father was a World War I veteran and even fought in World War I, where he was able to fight for his own country, same as James Stewart's and uh, other ancestors. Whilst growing up in Indiana, Pennsylvania, the young James Stewart was able to attend school and engage himself in various clubs and even join the choir at a young age based on his interest of singing. He would make sometimes uh, work and even take up odd jobs in the summertime when he was a bit older and would consider working in construction sites at his hometown. He even was able to make some steady income towards uh, his education and even going into further education. He would turn down the opportunity of being part of the United States Air Force at this time, but would have an interest in intend attending and even attending Princeton University itself, in which he would gain a degree in ar architecture. During the 1920s, this was during the 1920s. After graduating from the university, he was able to spend time perfecting his acting skills and even join music clubs in his spare time. During the late 1920s, he would become um, an actor and even take up an interest of architecture at the same time, with most of his roles being on Broadway and even having time to move to New York at the same uh, during the 1920s and even before the Great Depression. Acting career. Due to not becoming a full-on architect or pursuing a career in construction or in the military as was intended, James Stewart had a chance to become an actor on stage. He would work with many actors and actresses who would become rising stars during the 1930s, where James Stewart himself was a Broadway newcomer. Spending time with actors such as Henry, For Henry Ford, who was able to work with James Stewart at the time uh, before entering a Hollywood career. Yet, James Stewart's career on stage was a starting point due to the hard times um, were coming based on the Great Depression, making his star less known in the acting community. James Stewart would still be acting on stage as he would be performing in plays such as Carrie Nation to Journey by Night, as this would be a span of his early mid uh, early career during the early mid to mid 1930s where he was able to become a break a breakout newcoming star a newcomer star in in on broadway and even now in hollywood due to his performances on on stage he was approached by mgm studios uh, based on his acting um paralysis and even being offered a hollywood um, career status same as his friend henry ford he was able to sign his first motion picture in 1935, just after his tenure on Broadway. The film was called The Murder Man, and this would be you, uh, the film that helped him excel in Hollywood. Straight after his first motion picture, James Stewart was given more acting credits and acting roles in the 1930s. He would play an everyday man and even a cowboy, which helped him became, become an icon in Hollywood. He was able to star in a great film in 1939 called Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. As he was made to be a Hollywood star that had wit, of wits upon him, and even his style of acting was different to other people's. Playing Jefferson Smith in that same movie, after the film's success having James Stewart become a new Hollywood star, 
led him to various movies in the 1930s to the 1940s where he would be a icon. Yet he would be enlisted to the United States Air Force during World War II at the same time as being a big actor. Stage newcomer to beloved actor. The war made James Stewart change from his stance, change his acting stance, being an everyday man or a lover during his younger years, as the, he would be able to be nominated for his first Academy Award in 1940 for the Philadelphia Story with Katherine Hepburn as the co-star at the same time, as was well playing in westerns such as uh, Destry, Destry Rides Again in 1939. This sudden change had helped his career and allowing himself to become um, a bigger actor in more acting roles and acting credits. Even becoming a full-time icon, an actor um, who would be up against other actor, um, other new actors and even um, heavyweight actors such as Cary Grant to Spencer Tracy, to name a few at the time. James Stewart would spend at least 20 years plus in the United States Air Force and even in the United States Army during this, his time as an actor. Yet this was far from being his humble beginnings of being a stage actor and now uh, transitioning to a normal Hollywood actor. Yet he would spend some time in the Air Force and acting um, as an actor from the 1940s to the 1960s. He was classed as an A-listed actor that would help uh, being recognised by other actors, actress, actresses and directors and even the Academy based on his performances. His next post-World War II film and even one of his iconic film roles and movies of all time was him, uh, James Stewart, playing as George Bailey in the Christmas movie, the Christmas epic movie. It's a Wonderful Life. Even the film was nominated for some awards at the time, then working, then himself working on other movies such as Magic Town, Northside 777 and then Rope in the late 1940s. Rope would be considered his first collaboration with the director Alfred Hitchcock in, 19, in 1948. He would become a great actor in the 1950s, spending more time on the silver screen as a cowboy in the movie Broken Arrow in 1950, and again in Naked Spur in 1953, with other western genre films and even war hero films um, being on his resume. He would star in a war movie called Strategic Air Command in 1955 then spending some time on television as well as continuing his film career um, by filming television series, series from the 19, from 1950s to the 1960s and again having a television appearance in the 1970s. Personal life and final years. James Stewart was married once to Gloria Hattrick McLean during, the, during 1949 to 1994. The couple would have four children. He would spend time with other actors and actresses collaborating in their films and making appearances on stage when he got older. He even was able to become a mainstay ca um, actor on television during the 1970s. He would play Bill Hawkins in the TV series Hawkins. Bill Hawkins, sorry, in 1973. He even performed on stage plus appeared on radio based on his acting skills and being loved by many people around the world. The 1960s saw the older James Stewart take, uh, making and even playing in, in roles such as westerns to the everyday man again, which would be his typecast based on his characters since his start in Hollywood. The 1970s also saw him become an older gentleman who would be able to go on adventures and even appear in movies such as The, Ma the Magic of Lassie in 1978 and playing as an old man in The Green Horizon in 1980. He would win many awards and even be able to win the Academy Award 
um, but this was in the 1940s. He would still be nominated and win most of his awards outside of Hollywood, and even being remembered for his movies. His last movie was in 1991, An American Tale, and he would retire in the same year, still making an appearance outside of acting before his death in the late 1990s. Outside of Hollywood, he would spend time with uh, various political parties and even call himself on a Republican with him uh, with expressing himself as uh, showing his political views during the the, the um, elections based on different presidents and even different political parties at the time. Legacy of a Hollywood war hero. Sadly, the war hero and silver screen actor James Stewart passed away on the 2nd of July 1997 at the age of 89 in Beverly Hills, California, USA. He was a great actor who, that was able to spend most of his early life in cinema and in the army to the United States Air Force, helping his country in time of need. His career spanned over 50 years and even had the golden age of... Um, Hollywood honour him as a beloved actor and legend of the silver screen. His legacy lives on with most of the acting style being used and most actors watching his movies for inspiration for their characters and even acting styles. He was nominated and given awards based on his acting, um, uh, acting as well as being honoured by the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Even Robert De Niro was honoured with Robert Stewart being one of his favourite actors of uh, actor, um, actors of all time, and even one of the greatest actors of all time. Loads of memorials and tributes have been made to this once great actor, and still open or created even till today. Now thank you for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't done, if you haven't done so. I'm Suki Cookie, and please check out my other videos and stay tuned for more. This is the second or the first video of the second series of basic biographies. Please have a chance to re watch the rest of my um, movies and even my, my videos based on these great Hollywood actors and actresses. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't done so.